Welcome back to the channel. We're excited to share the Ventus 3 aerodynamic package from Dundon Motorsports and Varus Engineering. For a detailed look at the Swan Neck Wing, click the link in the description below first. Now that you're caught up on the Swan Neck Wing portion of the kit, we'll cover the remaining items. If you didn't go back to watch the wing video, here's the gist. Way more downforce, minimal drag, lots of adjustability, and super strong. Let's get the rest of the package. When improving downforce on a platform, balance is critical. Too much downforce at the front and the rear will be all over the place. Too much at the rear and the front won't grip. To maintain the appropriate balance when we added the V1X wing, we had to take care of the front of the car. We accomplished this with two pieces, the dual carbon dive planes and front carbon splitter. Our partners at Varus Engineering are well versed in all things aero and they helped us develop the pieces using wind tunnel verified computational fluid dynamics to achieve the right balance for the GT3 RS. We start with dual dive planes, sometimes called canards. Our dive planes come in either matte or gloss carbon fiber and accomplish a couple of things. First, they shift the aero balance forward. This serves to further balance the downforce generated by the wing and improve front grip. The second thing the dive planes do is control and shape the airflow over the car. With aerodynamics, disturbed or dirty air is the enemy. The wheel and suspension assembly do a great job acting like an egg beater to the air flowing around them, creating a lot of dirty air. The dive planes serve to feed air up and over the front wheel, and they create a vortex, like a tornado, on the outer edge of the front wheel. Dual dive planes like ours create a stronger vortex. These vortices create a low pressure area along the front wheel arch alongside the car to pull the turbulent air out of the wheel arch, further reducing lift and adding downforce. The carbon splitter serves to bring even more downforce to the front axle to balance the big swan neck wing. The splitter works to reduce lift at the front by separating and stalling some of the air on top of the splitter, standing on it if you will, and by speeding up the air under it, thereby reducing the pressure quote, lift on the other side of the car. Since this is a street car, we couldn't have six inches of splitter sticking out front to use much of the stand on it air. So we chose to maximize the speeding up of the air under the front by making it smooth and including two large diffusers. The diffusers work to further speed up the air and facilitate an even greater decrease in pressure under the car. The front lip of any track car is going to take a ton of abuse. For that reason, the splitter is constructed from a carbon thermoplastic a material widely used in many forms of motorsport, IndyCar, NASCAR. This material is lightweight, strong, and durable, and will not crack like splitters made from ABS or carbon fiber. It will also not grab or bend under the car like aluminum units do. Save for a couple small holes on the under tray, this piece is completely reversible on a 991.2 GT3 RS. With all of this added downforce, the kit adds an additional 900 pounds of downforce at 160 miles per hour. You will need to consider your suspension carefully to fully maximize the benefit of the kit. You can certainly add the wing and dive planes while running the wing at lower angles of attack and see great benefit. But if you're planning to go full bore and do the full Ventus 3 kit, then we recommend swapping out to our motion control suspension three-way damper kit. We have solutions for cars with and without aero and options to retain front axle lift for cars with pneumatic and hydraulic systems. At a minimum, consider upgrading your springs to ensure the front of the car doesn't bottom out under braking. As we've said in the past, we do try to take a purposeful, holistic approach when developing a platform. When you start with an already capable machine like the 991.2 GT3 RS, the car is so good, you need to be careful and deliberate with everything you touch. We've curated our offerings to work in concert to do one thing, improve performance. That said, aero doesn't make the car faster, the driver makes the car faster. Improved aerodynamics give you options by making the performance envelope larger. The increased grip gives the driver the confidence to carry more speed and therefore reduce lap times. We encourage a methodical approach when making changes of this magnitude. Work your way up to higher speeds and learn to adjust your approach with the increased traction. When we tested this setup on track, our pro driver set times that were two seconds faster with the Ventus 3 Aero package. When you're ready to you experience how easy it is to go fast on track in the mountains or any favorite section of tarmac, give us a shout for a well-engineered setup that keeps your car stuck and your smile wide.